Cheer, cheer, cheer. Salute, 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 everybody. I hope everyone's having a good day. So I'm over here in the historical Watts section of California. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Watts, Los Angeles, Compton area. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I figured I'd give you guys a taste of the beauty that I get to enjoy while I'm out here visiting my brother Kiki Smooth. You know what I'm saying? Now, he's not here right now, so I'm going to have to sneak out and take an un- uh, how should I say, unprotected tour of the historical Watts, you know what I'm saying, and being a New York native, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Heightstown, New Jersey, shout out to the whole BX, shout out to Orlando, Florida, where I currently reside, you know what I'm saying, I figured I'd just bring Watts to you, because I know a lot of you guys might never experience Watts at all, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, you know, because you just can't, or whatever the case may be, but I figured I'd just give you guys a look at Watts, California. So, come on, let's take a look, let's take a walk, let's get it poppin', y'all. Cheer. Towers, and of course, everyone here that's watching has probably seen plenty of movies that have featured the towers and you know surrounding areas. So let's take a look at some other things that uh, you may recognize as some of your favorite movies. Cheat, let's get a pop, y'all. Welcome to what, bro? You Welcome. already know what it is, man. Yeah, man. I have the towers every Wednesday. Kick it smooth, main event, and Freaky Fred, bro! Yeah! <laughs> cheer, cheer, cheer! <laughs> Cheers, slew, slew, slew. You already know what it is. I'm, so I'm going down the famous steps that was in the movie White Man Can't Jump. And this is the part where Billy Doyle, played by Woody Harrelson, comes down the steps, 
down to this basketball, and they say, you got the white boy. And that's where Sidney Dean, of course, Wesley Snipes, had no choice but to play with Billy Doyle. But as we all know, it was already set up. Now let's go to the court where they did their magic. Cheer, 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 salute, 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 you already know what it is. So we right here, we on the court where Billy Doyle played by Woody Harrelson and Sidney Dean played by Wesley Snipes got down and did their thing, you know what I'm saying? They made a few dollars while they was at it. <laughs> but they also had my man pop the trunk and come out there about to blast them with the heat. You already know what it is, man. CTR 23, check the bomb radio. Cheer. it man so anybody from out of town what would you tell them about coming here yeah, i don't know bro i don't know if you should come here but it's chill out here if you don't if you don't like mess with anybody yo. so basically like, if you come out here you gotta be somebody that's at least from a hood to understand how to maneuver yeah bro. don't just come out here thinking like everything is sweet but don't just come out here thinking everything is a nightmare either yeah bro. so there's plenty of good people out here still too yeah as long as you don't bang or anything you cool but they still press you on what? If somebody press you and you ain't a banger, man, what you supposed to say out here? I just say I don't bang, bro. And like, I, but they still try to like press me, but I, I just walk away from them, bro. I'm not, I don't try to interview them. That's what's up, man. Yo, man, but I don't want to hold you, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Appreciate you, man. God bless you, brother. All right. and footage for y'all so y'all can check out the beautiful neighborhood of Watts. But I gotta eat, you already know what it is, man. So let's check it out, man. Let's see what I get. Stay tuned. Chill. All right, so you know what I'm saying? I just got my food, man. Got me three tacos, carnitas, you already know. I got the super large horchata. And if y'all know me, I love me some horchata. You know what I'm saying? I even put it in my song so y'all can know what it is. So we're gonna do our thing. Let's check it out. See what we got here. So of course, you know I gotta put the, I gotta put this all over the, the tacos. This thing's so crazy. I gotta get this hot. You know, I don't know what. So we're gonna see what this is. You know, I'm, I'm used to the lime. This is like the first time I had the lemon. Leave a comment if you know what I'm saying. Y'all put lemon or lime on yours. I might be out of pocket. I don't even know. But let's see what it is. And I got the, she said it's the habanero sauce, so. I don't know. I'm gonna see. Man. I might have played myself. This might be too hot. I'm saying being Puerto Rican, you know, we ain't really used to all that. I mean, we, we use PK, but. All right, so I'm putting some on the taco. Shout out to all the beautiful Mexican brothers and sisters out here, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be good, because the fly was trying to get my shit. Put oh, some onion on here. All right, it's, it go nothing.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know if y'all can dig into that, but oh my goodness. Check the Ryan radio. Say, 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 I mean. So look, when I eat my tacos, I don't know if y'all do the same thing, but I like to eat over another taco. That way if anything drip out, it's going right onto that bad boy. Of course, you can't do that when you got the last one, but whatever. Mm. heaven right now. This truck is off the chain. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. I gotta take a sip of this for a chopper. Oh, yeah. Hey, and for all y'all thinking I don't know my horchata or my tacos, you bugging out. Mm. This is fire. Getting ready to get to, to the second one because I got three of them. Shout out to all my fat people. Oh my goodness. But this time I'm gonna do something different. So they got cucumbers with it. I don't know what, I never really had them with cucumbers, but maybe they think I'm gonna drink alcohol or something. I don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna do it now with that. So y'all can see. Cucumber right there with the onions. I just lost the napkin because it's a little breezy over here. Let's see what it is with the cucumber on top of that. Mm. That habanero sauce is off the chain. And the meat that they do is it's not dry, it's nice and soft, and it has its own natural flavor on top of everything else. They got the cilantro, they got the onions. This cucumber though, I ain't gonna front, it's adding some extra needed flavor, you know what I'm saying? Every time I come to watch, I'm coming here. I have to. Man. Hey, leave a comment. Let me know where your favorite spot is, you know what I'm saying? Next time I'm in town, I might just visit. I might pop up on them, you know what I'm saying, and try it out. So go. And the crazy part, I wasn't even hungry. I just saw the truck and I was like, oh, I gotta try this. Someone was telling me like, you gotta come here. I think it was the taco guys. Now I'm down to my last one. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to slip into a depression. Because I feel like I can eat a hundred more of these. Even though I got no business. But these things are so good that you just want to keep eating them. So I'm going to put a little bit more habanero sauce on it because I'm a little bit more trained than the average Puerto Rican. So I can, I can take the heat. It's probably good my girl's Mexican. So she put me in training, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like the channel, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, this one is super jammed. That's the thing, when you get to that last one, everything you drop into, into the next taco, it just fills it up even more. So this is gonna be a good challenge. Ain't go nothing. Mm. Oh, that hit. 
Take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. I trust you. that know me, they know I got bad sinuses. So, Mexican food is good for people like me. So I dropped, I actually dropped the freaking cucumber in the habanero sauce and I just left it there. I know what I'm doing. bumped into each other here at the you know at the taco spot you know what I mean? right, right. you know being from the east coast of puerto rican you know what i'm saying so you know i had to, I had to, I had to partake in the flavors of, of the area <laughs> and but in partaking in the flavors of the area you know what i'm saying i got to get to know the people of the area as well you know what i'm saying because you guys are just as important as the food because the food ain't gonna go nowhere if the people ain't gonna eat it you know what i'm saying so let's talk about it what's your name and where you from i'm ciola i'm from out of the country but i live here in Washington. Nice. So, what's been your, you know, how, what's been your experience out here in Watts? Um, it's been. I haven't had a good experience here. Um, I'm trying to be, you know, one of the good spots to Watts. Uh, again, I'm not from here, but it's been really bad for me. Really? Yeah. Now, we, you know, we pray for you. And what are your, what are your, um, what are your goals with Watts? Are you something that you try to stay, or you try um, to get yourself out of here? I was trying to leave for a while, and I think that was the problem. Nobody deals with it. It's never going to get dealt with. So um, I'm going to stay, and hopefully I'm going to help the people of Watts um, get insured and um, try to think outside of, of the slavery that we've been mm. conditioned to. Get. Absolutely. Now, has this been uh, when you first got here? Was this a culture shock for you, or yeah, were you culture already? Yeah, shock for me because well, I was living downtown, and it's a continuous culture shock because where I'm from um, it's totally different here it's not racist it's classes like it's about money who has more money gets treated a certain way who doesn't and my my dad was in the military so we had stuff and we were treated a certain way and then I come here and find out that oh this skin and this hair means that I'm less than everyone else so 
Really? Here? Here. In yeah. Watts? Well, in... Or in just in the surrounding the areas? Yes. Really? Period. So, wow. it's just been my, um, my goal to try to just be who I am so I can take away that stigma because slavery is truly done and gone with no matter what society tries to think or say. And we're not all ghetto. Wow, that's but exactly. we are ghetto. <laughs> hey, we all we all one hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I'd rather it be, you know, a hood than a bougie spot. You know what I'm saying? Because at that's, least right. at least you, you can utilize every resource you have yep. as expo as 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 opposed to wasting it. Right. See what I'm saying? But I, let me tell you something. That's why I come out here because first of all I got you know my people's out here and, and they know what time it is from New York to Orlando, Florida. Like, we all got hoods everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to always got to make sure I connect with the people from here because everyone here has a voice, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's, and it's a beautiful thing that what you're doing is, you said, you know what, I'm not going to run away from here. So, what it really means is that you're going to help do your part to change this area little by little. And you're raising the babies. So they're gonna they're gonna continue that flame that you started, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's a beautiful thing. That's why I hope. Well I appreciate you and I see you're gonna get your grub on. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just got my grub on, my mouth is on fire right now. But it's it's you know it's that good pain, it's that good heat. That good pain. Yeah dang. So I appreciate you and God bless you and everything that you do. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man, so you already know. <coughs> I just got my grub on. My stomach is great. My mouth is getting better. Thanks to the horchata. Shout out to everybody here at El Barrio. Man, make sure you come out here, man. This, they got the they got the pork tacos, the carnitas. This is oof. I feel so good right now. I'm connected with the people. That's what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a different story. You know what I'm saying? Some good, some bad. For the most part. You know, everybody going through something out here. But as you see, life goes on. People keep pushing. And that's really what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. Cheer.
man, you know, after all this walking around, all this eating, I feel like I just gotta take a nap, you know what I'm saying? Or, or at least take a break. You know, if you're out here in the beautiful area of Watts, I'm, of course, I'm still by the towers. The towers are just over there. There's another part. If you just pass the towers, that's very tranquil. You hear birds. They even got like a garden area. Got turtles. There's a lot of beauty here in the hood. Yeah, you heard a few stories, some testimony. At the end of the day, yeah, you always got to be alert. You got to be wise and smart around your surroundings. But there's always hidden gems. The point is this, though. No matter where you're at, there's always going to be peace. There's always going to be chaos. You just got to filter out the chaos to get to the peace. I love it here in Watts. Being from... Heightstown, New Jersey, and the Bronx, New York, and of course, Orlando, Florida, I can appreciate this too. See, I'm from the good, and I'm from the hood. So, I can appreciate both sides.